huge day. It was not only a huge day on the field, but it was a huge day on the on the recruiting trail for a And before the game, uh, Walter Nolan, the number two prospect in the in the twenty twenty two class, the number one defensive lineman, um, announces his announced his commitment to a And M probably about. 30 to 45 minutes before the game. And I think what I've learned out of this is, uh, you know, when I go to, I was covering a basketball event earlier today. And when I cover basketball events, something seems to happen because that was when Shamar Turner announced his commitment last year. So, uh, you know, that's, that, that's something that, you know, it's a huge, it's a huge, it's a huge addition for A&M. And then just a little bit later, Chris Marshall, who was supposed to announce his decision tomorrow, pushed it up a day, um, and he also announced before kickoff. So it was a tremendous day already from from that standpoint for A&M on the recruiting front. And then um, to add Chris Marshall as well, who is another top 100 prospect. And um, A&M really needed to add another dynamic receiver in this class. Um, he's ranked as the number 12 receiver in the 24-7 sports composite. Um, 24-7 sports has him as the number 34 player in the country and number four wide receiver. Um, and I think you're – to this point, I mean, Bobby Taylor does deserve a lot of credit because he spends a lot of time with these guys on Instagram, on social media, um, and has has been just a tremendous asset to this class. Um, obviously, it takes the AM the AM staff selling the mission too, but um, you know, just a just a tremendous job to 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 get these two commitments. And you know, A and M this A and M certainly not done um, on this front. Um, it's, 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 it's one of those things that, um, you know, there's this defensive line with the way they're playing. A lot of other guys are taking notice, um, and there's heading up into this next month. And, and that's what made a win like this so huge to continue that momentum. Um, the early signing period is only just over a month away. And when you're able to continue and, and one of the things that's helped this class and it specifically helped with Walter Nolan is, uh, when you're able to continue bringing guys back to this sort of environment, there was 109,000 people there today. Um, again, it was a tremendous turnout at midnight yell the night before. Uh, when you're able to sell these kids on on the opportunity to play in this sort of environment, and Jimbo Fisher has, again, talked about it over the last couple of weeks, um, you know, just with just with – with the the impact that the environment has had on kids being able to come and see see this in person um, and get and get a feel for for what for what things will be like, I mean it's it's um, it's a huge day for the program and it's and it's a huge momentum builder and they'll then now now there's now there's the challenge of turning forward again to next week um, and you know A and M's now got everything in front of them for the most part that they need uh, they're going to become big Auburn fans after this one. Um, need Alabama to lose one more time, and um, they've got a real shot at at getting to Atlanta now. Uh, this was a huge hurdle to get over, and uh, but you know you just got to play the games and see where the chips fall. Um, and and A and M now is you know one step closer to where they need to be. 